when you go and open this up, there could be significantly more, and it's certainly going to need to be opened up under controlled conditions. We'll it was a show and tell tour on Wednesday. The now closed Orange County Government Center in Goshen was reopened briefly for a media tour so that County Executive Ed Diana, his aides and consultants could point out the trouble spots left following the torrential rains and flooding from tropical storms Irene and Lee. But officials say many of the problems in the building can't be seen by the naked eye. It's the mold that's growing inside the walls. What we found was that there are certainly areas that are obviously visible. We're going to show you some of these areas where you can see the visible mold growth. There's some areas where you see what looks to be a perfectly plain wall and then when you cut into it the mold is growing on the inside of the walls. There are areas where the mold concentrations are excessive and will obviously require further remediation. By remediation what we're talking about is removal of the impacted materials and the removal of the impacted materials is essentially only a band-aid at this point in time. Also on the tour, Al Fusco, a Middletown engineer, who says the government center's leaky flat roofs may now have compromised the structural integrity of the building. What we believe has happened is that uh, through the uh, recent storms, Irene and Lee, that we had tremendous amounts of uh, water uh, within a narrow channel of time and the roofing drains could not handle it. County Executive Diana has made it known he wants the building demolished and a new facility built at a cost of around $136 million rather than the other option, making 50 to $70 million worth of repairs. But he says it will ultimately boil down to what's best for county taxpayers. I really, truly want to do what's right, not only for today, tomorrow, a year from now, five... 50, 60 years from now, because a building that's built properly, I think, could last and should last 75, 80 years. Diana says he hopes the county legislature decides on one of those options by the end of the year. In Goshen, Tracy Baxter, Record Online. The bottom shows that that, act, that wall down there at the very bottom, that corner is actually retaining moisture. And that